name is Lisa Shaw and today I'm going to show you how to create embellished cardigan. Just like these samples here in the front. They all use the same techniques and we're going to be focusing on this one here in the front, the yellow one. To do this, I simply take a piece of interfacing or pattern making fabric and place it over my sweater so that I can quickly sketch my neckline because that is the most important part of the embellishment because if you notice it hugs right across the neckline. The other parts that I want to make mention of are the shoulder and the button as it goes down so that my embroidery or my embellishment does not go below a certain area. Once I've placed, created my neckline, I can take this shape and I will doodle on my pattern that I've just created. It's important to remember when you're creating your doodle that you are going to be creating open work shapes that need to be cut to create the lattice work for this design. I already have one done, neatly attached to my scanning mat. So I have it flattened nice and neat and I am going to scan it so that I can create my cut file. So I hit start to begin the scanning process and now I can get my second mat ready with my ultra suede on it. I have my support sheet on my mat and I've placed my ultra suede at an angle so that I get a more efficient use of my fabric because ultra suede as we know is rather expensive. So we have our scanned image here and I'm going to save it so that I can now scan in my fabric and cut my shape from that design. So I'm ready to load my fabric. Okay, I am scanning in the background fabric so I can place my cut file on top of it. So here I see that my scan is right on top of my ultra suede so I can click OK, choose to cut it and hit start and I am good to go. While that's cutting to save us a little time here, I've already scanned and cut this so we are ready to do our peel away of the background fabric. has the outer shape, so I'm going to carefully lift this corner and peel it away, revealing this gorgeous lattice work that we have cut. So that we can now attach this to our sweater. In this example, I used invisible thread in my machine and I stitched around the top layer of my design. The important part to remember when stitching on suede is that you should use a Teflon foot so that your machine glides over the top. Now I also embellished this with three-dimensional flowers and those were so much fun to create, again using the same technique of scanning in a petal multiplying it, copying it, creating my little cut shapes. The circles for the center of the flower were using one of the built-in designs to easily create something that I can place on top of my stitched 
or my cut work design here, I use a little square of wash away stabilizer. It has an adhesive, so this is great to use up your scraps that you have lying around. And I take the corner, the center part of my petal, and I put them towards the center, staggering them because we, as we know in nature, flowers are not 100% mirror image of each other. Some leaves are short, petals are shorter than the others. This holds them all in place so that when I place my center, flower, center of my flower on top, I can now take this and do some decorative stitching right on top of my embroidery, of my cut work design. And as you see with the petals, some of them I have stitched down so they give them a little bit of dimension, so they're a little bit of wild, or you can leave them flat so that they flap. And there you have your complete embellished sweater. This technique was also done in the other two. You can even make them bigger, larger for brooches.